everyone, Cosette here, and I am with Bates Reed. I got nice to see you guys again. Yes, good so to be here. Chief Arms CSA. And so, as promised, I am back with part two of Cosette Contemplates Community. And so, last week, I did a part one video with Bates talking about the amazing things that he is doing with Chief Arms CSA for our community, um, for Chattanooga and some of the surrounding areas. Y'all get this, fresh produce, as local as possible produce, delivered right to your door. So we're not talking fast food, we're talking living alive foods coming straight to you. Minimal contact, minimal handling, um, and we know that that's super important right now, right Bates? cleaner you can get it the better yeah you know? I still say eat the dirt with the vegetables if you can but you still need to wash the vegetables because the dirt's actually good for you yeah because there's minerals right well there's minerals there there's microbes that yes. help your body be stronger you know that's that's part of one of the things with this whole um, pandemic is that we sometimes you, you know how people get when they get so clean that they that their body becomes allergic to other, yes. more and more and more right. so I think one of the one of the real important things that that we can remember in a time like this not you know I'm not a doctor but I've been doing nutrition my whole life and I know what works for me so I can share that but is is it's okay to get dirty it's okay to pick up a chicken it's okay to uh, drop something on the ground and eat it in the 30 second rule yeah 30 second rule 10 second rule or whatever that is <laughs> but I really believe I really believe especially in times like this that if we don't eat the right things and we don't I guess just keep our it's a weird thing to say but keep ourselves a little dirty don't be so clean yeah that when something new comes into your environment your body just rejects it sure sure especially you know now with COVID virus I mean right. you know we, we need a strong immune system and that's what we're talking about doing is building a strong immune system exactly with living food nutritious food it's so very non-processed food wherever possible yes and that's what our that's what our, our cooperative partners, our, our cottage industry partners do. You know, they're they're making things with their hands. It's not processed. It's 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 close to your mother's kitchen as you're gonna get, and we're just trying to keep it as healthy as possible. And even create things like even have partners that we have a partner that is colloidal silver. Oh, so nice. colloidal silver, you know, he, he does it himself right here in Chattanooga and we offer that. Thanks, Eric. And uh, so, you know, we, we can offer those kind of things. We can offer, uh, well, go ahead. Yeah, no, you're let's good. Keep, hey, just go we're on. just flowing with this. Like I've said so many times before on my channel, I am not, my goal is not to be a YouTuber. I'm just loving my community and loving sharing the things that have positively impacted my life. So, you know, we're not going to come off as famous youtubers unfortunately and hard to believe right um, so yeah so last last video we did we talked about how people do they get this lovely produce box um, delivered straight to their door so we understand that there's there's vegetables there's fruits but like you were saying you've got these cottage industry partners and so on your website I have seen some really cool items like elderberry syrup. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Eric, right? Who does the colloidal silver? Correct. Um, you have local food artisans who make homemade breads. So talk to me a little bit more about maybe the cottage industry partners and the food artisans part of the Chief Farms CSA. Well, like I said, this year when we started, we had our CSA box, which consists of five vegetables and a fruit, five different types of vegetables and a fruit. You get a lot more than that. But, uh, and it's $32, and basically you're having that delivered to you. And within that box, you can also have eggs. I do a lot of my own eggs. I have two other egg partners, you know, with my own hens, but I've got two other egg partners that have their own hens, and we coordinate back and forth on Tuesdays on my, on my days, you know, to, to pick up foods. I pick up eggs, I pick up local honeys, I pick mm, up nice. uh, the breads, we pick up cookies. We we had a whole line of uh, prepared meals this this year that we that we utilized, uh, and we picked those up from Keith. Um, and th those, I guess, those were the main ones. The elderberry syrup started here a couple of weeks ago, and she makes that fresh for you the day before you get it. So mm. and that's Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. 
Uh, nice. But uh, you know, so you know, we I had uh, vegetables coming from different partners too, from the farms that I I've been using for five years in Dayton when yeah. I was running my um, the first chief farms, and I had my own organic farm in Pikeville. You know, I took some from that organic farm. I took some from uh, a, a Pikeville uh, over on Dayton Mountain. I took, you know. It, 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 rhubarb uh, there's another friend that, that has some rhubarb ready and she goes I've got rhubarb but I can't get there and I'm like I can't get all the way to Pikeville this week on Tuesday <laughs> so we didn't have rhubarb in the last box so it comes from a little bit of everywhere um, and then when we get into fall you know my produce is going to come from the same place like Linda's produce comes from probably um, more than likely but I think I'll even have a little bit better than that from where I get some of my sources so, cool. but, it, but it, it changes and now we're getting ready to go, you know, um, we're getting ready to go into spring and I mean, spring, we're getting ready to go into fall. Uh, spring comes, everybody's ready to eat those yummy vegetables because it's in winter, fall and winter, and they haven't had them for a while, but it's right. not like that everywhere. That, you know, you go to some places in the country, they eat their vegetables all year long. And I think that's important to remember. I mean, I mean we're gonna talk about this later, but it's really important to remember keep eating your vegetables through the fall and through winter because with us sitting in front of this tv so we're all working a lot of people are working now but you're still sitting in front of that tv we're still quarantined keep putting that much sugar into your body that many carbs into your body you you gain weight you become more unhealthy and that's not what we're trying to achieve we're all trying to be physically fit spiritually mentally and emotionally you yes, know? yes body soul and spirit and so to do that you know I, I, what what my thing is I want to provide things that will nourish your body even if it's not all organic even if it has something sprayed on it you wash that off but you're still eating a live vegetable you're eating something that will nurture your cells and regenerate them and not destroy yes. them like sugars will which yes. you know come from carbs and breads and we love our cookies and cakes and I'm gonna be offering those but those aren't something you eat every day to keep your body healthy exactly I mean you might, I might eat them <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> but, but we know that sugar can right. be very inflammatory. So Well and as you get older, that sugar, your 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 liver, your kidneys, they can't process it. So mm -hmm. everybody, when they get older, if they've eaten too many sugars and carbs and things like that, the they start having problems going to the bathroom and those kind of things. And that happens as you get older and older and older. You don't notice it up until you're forty or fifty years old, then all mm -hmm. of a sudden something's starting to look a little different. Well, it's um it's what you're eating. <laughs> yes, for sure. And that was like one of the things that jumped out to me whenever I saw your ad on Facebook because um, it's so easy, especially, you know, since we're in this pandemic, the, the quarantine, the lockdown, you know, it's so easy to get on an app, right, and order fast food, yeah. right, that's not necessarily healthy, not even necessarily real food. <laughs> You don't we're, know not gonna, yeah, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole. Well, I was right watching now. something recently, like on a regular, <laughs> I'm not going to name names of hamburger companies. There can be up to, in that patty you get, of course, the patty's not that big. The patty's about that. <laughs> they keep getting smaller. But that patty can have up to 500 different animal parts in it. I mean, from different animals. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. I mean, again, that's just something I've studied and watched. And I'm like, well, that makes it really disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we're going to change that too with what we're getting ready to do in the fall too, and bringing you local local meats from literally Chick Chickamauga, Georgia. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very. That's. that's we got to awesome. we got to eat healthy in these times we and do. all times, and and hopefully we can help be the incentive to allow you to eat healthier. Um, by having it brought directly to your door instead of you having to go out and yeah. get it when you didn't want to go get it. Yeah, exactly. And that was what that, that kind of got me. I was like, okay, so instead of having fast food, I can have really great nutritious vegetables come right to my door, just like if I had gotten onto an app and ordered something else, right? And just knowing that that resource is available here locally, I just encourage everyone to really take advantage of that. Um, so you had mentioned how we are transitioning into fall, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So what are some things, do you have like any seasonal updates for Chief Farms? How are things gonna change with the produce? What are your thoughts on that? Well, before we get into that, one of the things that I wanna do is I'm, I'm leaving, I'm on vacation, I'm a, well, I've got the billing to do for last week, and then I'll <laughs> officially be on vacation, and I'm so excited, thank you, God. thank you. 
<laughs> and I just want to be grateful too for all of you and I want to say thank you all for supporting uh, what we're doing uh, you know your you by you buying those products at least two to three people the way it is right now get a free CSA box because they are having a you, I don't know how to put that they're having a hard time yes. getting food Right. So this gives people some fresh vegetables and foods throughout the week. Uh, those that can purchase help those that can. Yes. So on the we call that chi feed, um, and so life force feed, life energy, pure energy feeding people. That's what it means. Um, so I'm going to go out and rest now and put together all the people that have now come to me throughout these two seasons, spring mm -hmm. and summer. Um, have, have started saying we have things we'd like to offer so I'm gonna go out and we're gonna do as I'm traveling out west I think we're gonna do some zooms and uh, maybe in Moab Utah or something I, I don't know yeah. where I'll be but maybe we'll talk about you know what I found along the road as far as health and nutrition and what's happening in other parts of the country and maybe just the environment I don't know what we'll talk maybe we'll talk a little spiritual conversation about something I don't know that keeps getting fuzzy doesn't it I just saw it fuzzy. <laughs> it's yeah. turned a couple of times but uh, but so anyway um, as I'm out there we're gonna have some of these conversations and as as the as everything comes together better with uh, what we're bringing together for for autumn for October we'll let you know that but yeah right now we have uh, We've got fresh meats coming on board. I'm not going to say who or what because I want to save all that and get it all right so you can see the pictures. Yeah. But we have fresh meats, fresh hamburger, fresh steaks coming, USDA, straight from them to you on just the delivery service. Um, we've got um, fresh juices, so you'll be able to get uh, a quart of juice or a half gallon of fresh juice. You'll have some options, but it's as fresh as it comes, I promise you that. Um, we will have some breads. We've got some yummy cookies coming. <laughs> we've got, uh, I'm, I'm a little tired, y'all. Uh, I've got. What about milk? Didn't you? I've got, milk? we've got fresh, okay. fresh milk from the farm coming. And really, I have, I've never really drank it before because they kept talking about this cream that gets on the top of the milk. But I always thought of like buttermilk cream. Yeah. And it's not. It's just yeah, when you taste that and you get that cream like on your lips you're like yeah that's just cream yeah it didn't taste bad or anything it tastes yeah. wonderful so <laughs> I actually got to experience that buttermilk cream with my uh, my recent jug very cool so and I get to take that jug with me now I've got my glass container to carry my water with me on my trip out west which is great <laughs> there you go there you go so that's but awesome. yeah so we got that and so there's other things coming um, sauces for your for your foods fresh from this summer and into the into the fall so uh, we re I'm really I think what I'm really trying to do is create a a basic health kit okay oh CBD products for your health oh, so we'll have yeah, a whole line of big. CBD products as well for you um, and uh, from saps to smokables to things you eat to to hemp hearts which have more protein in them than I believe anything else Wow. Um, and then the regenerative quality of the hemp the CBD uh, is is really what we will be educating people on because we're not coming to you selling it to you in a convenience store where you're just getting it right I have people that will help educate you and and much wiser at this information than I am as far as knowledge goes and they're going to be here helping us make videos and explain that stuff to you too so that if there are things going on with your body we can work with you to heal your body with the things we're bringing to your table Awesome. In all aspects. Yeah, I love so that. So that's 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 our goal. Yeah, I love that. And our goal, our goal beyond that is to duplicate this little sustainable business for other cities. We've already done it. We got a partner now in Nashville. So we'll just keep duplicating these and we're gonna give away this information to people in different towns and cities where they'd like to start communities, you know, to where uh, we can support our healthy communities as, as we and that's one thing we were talking about earlier yes. is really what does it take to build community right. and I've been living in communities my entire life striving to live in them lived in them help build them help uh, just from all different aspects from spiritual communities to, to just intentional and sustainable communities yeah so we're seeing more and more of that happening more people are homesteading more people want to be in community you know 
I may have spent a lifetime doing it and other people may have spent a lifetime doing it, but now because what Corona's done and the way we see the world, we're realizing we really, we wanna find loving family members or partners, but we have to learn to live in community if we're gonna do that so we can support each other mm -hmm. when it gets harder to get food or when there's a big storm like just right. happened yesterday and right. it's happening now. Yeah. You know, we, as, as, as community, we need to be able to call on each other when we, when we know what our skills and gifts are, and that's what we're going to be talking about in Community 2 on the more right. present stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And this will come, we'll, t we'll talk a little bit about it right now just because there's some things that are really coming into my heart as you're mm -hmm. saying that. But it's definitely something that we are going to cover like even in future videos because I feel right. it's so important. So I feel like right now, um, one of the golden opportunities that has been given to us by this um, coronavirus, we get a chance to re-envision community, right? Um, because essentially, one of the things that has been so greatly altered is our sense of community, right? We've been having to quarantine, we can't see family, we can't see friends the way that we were used to. And because of that, we're not taking those relationships for granted anymore either, right? So I'm a big time introvert. And um, in the past, I have struggled with anxiety and panic disorder. And so in the past, it would be such that if I would get invited anywhere or want to go somewhere, I would either feel a sense of dread or a sense of anxiety. Not so now because things have just, coronavirus has flipped the script. But I want to take advantage of that now. And so what you're talking about with Chief Farm CSA, I love that it takes it a step beyond just, you know, delivering the nutritious right. foods, but you are actually networking and co-oping and building community, right? And you've told me before that you've talked with people like as you're delivering food, you get to hear their stories. Yeah, and that's that's the beautiful part, you know, my the people we deliver to, we're not just dropping off food. We're building a relationship with you. We want to be your friend. We want to uh, serve you and love you and and even when we're doing the foods you know we bless all the food as we're doing it literally by taking that Reiki energy and holding it around our food and intentionally blessing with love and doing what we do in love so that food is infused with love by the time you eat it and put it in your mouth and in that because of my spiritual experiences I know the healing that comes from having your food blessed and healed that's why we pray over our food, you know, we're taught to do that from a young age. Where did that come from? Right. Well, it came from a lot of things. It came from our spiritual understanding. It came from uh, shamans. It came from indigenous people. It came from Native Americans blessing their food, putting love into the food before they ingest it into the body yes. so that it can heal the body. Yes. And that's the way our communities yeah. ought to be built. Ought to be, yes. Is everything we do is that we do it in love so that we heal our communities from within, from within us, from the next person to the next person as we build community. So those are things we'll be talking about. Yeah. Because that's really, it's it's about building community, but you gotta start somewhere. You do. And you gotta start with you first. And yeah. then we can build, then you build a healthy you, just like with the soul. Once you learn to love yourself, then you can learn to love other people. Until you learn to love yourself, you're not really very good at loving other people. Actually, you come across as kind of ugly. And we don't want that. We don't want to be those ugly characters out there in the political world who are serving themselves rather than loving themselves and serving others. There's a huge difference. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so that's the kind of world we're talking about living in and creating. And we have absolutely the ability to do that. And so that's what we're doing. That's awesome. I love how the sense of community, it's it's built over the understanding that food is sacred, right? Absolutely. And that food is a tool, Absolutely. right, for health and empowerment and vitality. Yeah. And you and I had talked right before we started this video how um, food delivery and fast food has hijacked community in the mm -hmm. sense that it has turned sacred food into retailism, right? Commercialism. Our food has been so commercialized and because of that it has hijacked these golden opportunities to connect yeah. intimately with each other with and food. with community yeah. so yeah and, but you know what's been beautiful about the, 
the pandemic as well, how many people have started really loving their food and, and at yes. home, the stories we hear from not only people we're delivering to, but just people in general, the trend is so many people are staying in their kitchens and fixing, learning how to fix and prepare really amazing foods and meals and bringing that part of their character out, which is beautiful. Yes, yeah, speaking of, so I've definitely been spending more time in the kitchen okay. and um, I just recently learned how to prepare a Kurdish dish. Okay. And so I was able to do that with a lot of the produce that I got out of my Chief Arms CSA box. Oh, nice. So, yeah. So what was this Kurdish dish? Uh, I cannot remember the, the name, name right. of it. That's a Kurdish name. But <laughs> it was a, it's a Kurdish dish, and um, essentially it is like ground beef with several different spices, but then you put in the vegetables that you want in it. So mm -hmm. I put in like potato mm -hmm. and some other things out of my box. I don't remember. Suffice it to say, it gives us an opportunity to be creative and to try new things. And yeah, because you don't know what you're getting every week. Yeah. You, you don't know what foods are coming in the CSA box, so it forces people to explore. And there's so many, and I really like this, because so many of our patrons and friends now are like, I never know what I'm getting, but it pushes me to learn how to prepare yes. that meal. Like, I, I, uh, 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 Caitlin, Caitlin, yeah, Caitlin. Um, she, uh, she's like, I didn't get the, the, uh, purple one. The red cabbage? No. The, the eggplant? The eggplant. Yeah. <laughs> the purple. What's a purple one? Uh, she said, I didn't get it last time and I kept thinking I'm going to conquer this. I'm going to learn something to do with this. And this time she says, for sure I'm doing it. You know, so it was fun going to her door and, and, and she's all excited about, oh, I get a chance to do the eggplant. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this. I'm sorry this keeps getting fuzzy, you guys. Yeah, my camera, I'm not sure why it's, it's doing, doing that. Anyway, it's okay. We're fuzzy. Yeah, we'll be, it'll, wor fuzzy it'll work. People. It'll work. It'll <laughs> work. We'll work out the bugs later. <laughs> but yeah, so that that is awesome. Um, so if people want to connect with the work that you're doing, of course, mm -hmm. he's taking a vacation, well deserved. Um, but what do they need to do? How can people contact you and get signed up for these amazing CSA boxes? Uh, I think one of the, there, there's a couple things that would be most important to do. Go to chieffarms.org and just look at our website. Get in there and sign up if you can. Put your name and start an order or start something, even though you can't order anything till October anyway. But get in there just so I have your information and that way when we send out emails, you'll get the emails as well. Uh, on Facebook, that'd be the next most important thing to go to is Chief Farms. CSA on Facebook and right underneath the main picture there's a little message button hit that message button and that's where you message me I won't lose your messages there if you lose if you if you uh, send me messages or questions on live streams or uh, or, or, or just on messenger or other places I'll see it I might be in the middle of doing something else I didn't write it down and I lose you and I, I, I don't remember yeah what it was that I, I'm like oh somebody wanted something and it was this but who was it you know that I have to start this rabbit trail so if you could go to Chief Arms CSA on Facebook and send messages or directly from the chiefarms.org there's a message board there that comes to me uh, I, I prefer I don't look at my emails as much as I look at Gotcha. The Facebook thing, even though, uh, anyway, so those are the best two ways. You can you can call me, 423-800-9043, 423-800-9043, and I can talk to you about anything you'd like to talk about. Uh, you know, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, now, I don't always answer my phone because there's so many robocalls on 423 that usually it's a robocall. For so sure. maybe text me first, say, hey, I'm calling you, this is my number. That way, when I see the text, I see you call and I'll pick up the phone, especially if I'm out working and stuff. I, I usually wear a thing around my head so I can talk to you and work and use my hands at the same time. Yeah. So I'm happy to do that as long as it's not a robocall. <laughs> Very good. So and those are the best ways. I guess, did I miss anything? No. Uh, they can also follow you on YouTube, right? Chief yep. Arms CSA. It, it's either Chief Arms. I think it's Chief Arms CSA I think it's on Chief YouTube. Arms CSA. Because Chief yeah. Arms will take you off to some other country. Some other, yeah. Some other YouTube. Yeah. We're Chief Arms. He's Chief Arms CSA. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, I so appreciate you. I appreciate what you're doing for our community. 
and I hope that your trip is amazing. Stay tuned because we're going to be doing some videos from Bates while he is on the road. He's going to capture some amazing locations. We may meditate. We may sit and meditate together. Yeah. We may do, you know, we may be just looking at something incredible that, that, that I'd like to take you on the journey with me. Love it. So maybe we'll do some live stuff. Um, but I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate just being able to do something I love and serve in love. And, and I'm just going to take you all on the journey with me. And thank you for yeah. taking me on the journey with you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's an amazing Thanks, journey. Cosette. You're so welcome. Well, thank you so much. Guys, stay tuned. Check out my YouTube channel, Cosette Contemplates. And it is where I contemplate and think aloud on all yeah. things sustainability, spirituality, um, things that are just important to me and that have positively impacted my life. Okay. We Thanks love you guys. guys. Love Chattanooga. Good night. Good night.